Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today I'll be talking about WandaVision introducing Blue Marvel and Kestrel to the MCU, and Joe and Anthony Russo wanting to make a Wolverine movie. If you're new to the channel, or even if you've been watching for a while, make sure you subscribe because more than 96% of you guys aren't subscribed. And if you think you're subbed, double check because apparently there's a glitch where people are getting unsubscribed from certain channels. And remember that a subscription is free for you, but it really helps the channel a lot. And you can always unsub later if you want. Now let's get started. When WandaVision Episode 5 dropped, Monica said that she knew an aerospace engineer who might be able to help them get back into Westview, and immediately after, people were saying it was Reed Richards. However, the Spanish translations revealed that it was a woman, so it was believed that it could actually be Talos' daughter. But in Episode 6, Monica said, Gotta meet my guy over the ridge, and the Spanish subtitles just say my contact, so no male or female. But according to the Finnish subtitles, Monica says Mish, or man. So because Monica said meet my guy, and other languages translate it to a man as well, but Jack Schaefer, the creator of the show, said that there aren't any connections to the Fantastic Four in the show, it's now believed that this person is actually Adam Brashier, aka the Blue Marvel. And thanks to Jimmy Foligno on Twitter for realizing this, plus it was corroborated by Casey Walsh, the editor-in-chief over at Geeks Worldwide, but Monica and Adam dated in the comics, so they have a history which could be explored further after WandaVision, and it's possible that they could make Blue Marvel much younger than he is in the comics when he appears in the MCU. Next, during WandaVision's sixth episode as well, when Darcy Lewis is going through Sword's files, she quickly passes by a familiar name, Ray Johnson. Now for those of you who don't know, Ray Johnson is an alias for John Wraith, better known as Kestrel, a teleporting mutant with an anti-aging factor. Kestrel is most famous for his affiliation with the X-Team, a collection of mercenary mutants that carried out covert missions for William Stryker. And speaking of mutants, Avengers Endgame filmmakers Joe and Anthony Russo expressed their interest in directing a Wolverine movie for Marvel Studios during a recent interview for their new movie Cherry saying Wolverine has always been such a special character. You have to find the right actor to come in and give a really different take to that character. And because of Hugh Jackman's looming shadow, Joe Russo explained that, I think the best thing is to take a break. Without question, you need a palate cleanser. You need to rinse the towel a little bit, let everyone enjoy what was, and then come up with something new. But I'd love to take a crack at Wolverine at some point. And we of course know that the Falcon and the Winter Soldier will take us to Madripoor, which ties directly into Wolverine. And it's rumored that mutants like Omega Red could appear in the show as well so it's very likely that the Falcon and the Winter Soldier sets up some sort of Wolverine project, like the rumored prequel Weapon X show, or the Hulk vs. Wolverine and Alpha Flight movie. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Do you think we'll see Blue Marvel and WandaVision? Did you like Kestrel and X-Men Origins Wolverine? And would you like to see an MCU Wolverine movie directed by the Russo brothers? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe. 